what can you see in my hand yes definitely some of the books we will talk about a very little about this book today in this video assalamu alaikum hello everybody welcome to seven minute learning and today i'll just talk about these books a very little so i will start with dickens because some of my students actually sometimes ask me what should they read i mean they should read dickens because i love dickens whenever it comes to novel whenever it comes to you know english novel particularly you know dickens is unparalleled to anybody and why actually i love dickens uh, i uh, read um, I mean, most of the writings of Dickens, I will say, for example, uh, Nicholas Nickleby, uh, you will not get it here. I just read it, I mean, PDF file and Oliver Twist. And apart from it, uh, writing Tale of Two Cities, really, I love this book because this is the best of time. This is the worst of time. You understand, it's a kind of poetic way uh, Dickens actually started his book. And whenever it comes to David Copperfield, I mean, here the main character is David. And he actually brought off with lots of difficulties and after that he got a very fortunate life so it's called the autobiography of dickens life so i mean i whenever i read dickens believe it or not his narration is uh, pretty much uh, very good i mean his description and narration really i like and some of the words maybe you will not understand of dickens and whenever it comes to great expectations i uh, actually studied this book whenever i was university student because it was in our syllabus so here is the main character is pip philip pip uh, i mean most of the characters of dickens uh, there is a you know certain kind of similarities and that is you know whenever they they are born you know they are very poor and they go through lots of difficulties but after that you know they get a life of luxury after that they get a life of happiness so that's i mean a kind of i mean dickensian characters i believe so that's it then after that i have here mrs mrs dalloway yes this is virginia wolf and i really appreciate i have maybe three books of her and this book a room of one's own i studied at university and but not mrs dalloway uh, this is not my you know syllabic book and definitely to the lighthouse so what she writes actually she talks about feminism and if you don't understand feminism feminism means simply talking in favor of women and particularly i read this book perfectly because i studied at university and definitely i read but surface level so i will come up with uh, you know book review as well so that time you know i will make you understand uh, i mean all of her kind of all of her books uh, theme is a kind of you know womanism you understand that's it that is called feminism and this is my word actually womanism that means she talks about in favor of women and some of the arguments really i like her arguments i mean uh, she talks about in this book that if women's uh, are given the same facilities as men uh, as men are given uh, they can show uh, you know more resilience uh, you know they can show even more brilliancy than men i believe this is fine and definitely whenever it comes to uh, you know dostoevsky theodore dostoevsky the, the name is very very difficult to read it's theodore dostoevsky and crime and punishment so that's it i mean it was my university list so crime and punishment actually what happens there there is a character called uh, raskolnikov actually he thought himself as a napoleonic character and he committed two murders in this book uh, because of what can i say personal benefits and for the benefits of society but he couldn't actually enjoy the money she uh, he got actually uh, from just you know murdering two people and that's it i mean there are lots of things actually i mean that i i i love uh, the way poverty is described in this book so i will talk about this book as well so i'm just in this video showing uh, actually maybe how many writers four writers and after that it comes to uh, aldous huxley huxley aldous huxley i mean huxley was a maybe biologist and definitely a scientist and apart from this he is a great novelist believe me or not this is brave new old as you as the name suggests brave new world is a book of brave new world believe me or not i mean if you read this book huxley predicted that what's uh going to be world you know 
uh, tomorrow's that means in future so i mean uh, most of the predictions of huxley uh, i believe are being implemented in the world believe me or not i mean if you read it then you will understand it i mean the fragmentations of families you know even the premarital relationships i mean lots of things he talks about i mean our medical systems so all of the things i mean he depicted in this book so this is a fantastic book i believe you know this book talks about a lot so that's it i mean if you read these books definitely i will come up with the summaries of these books so that's it i mean until that stay blessed stay happy and keep learning with my channel and definitely don't forget this is an english platform where i teach english language you understand i teach english language here in chatogram so you can make a call and simply i teach from class 4 uh, to class 10 so if you are in any category definitely you make you may make a call and definitely you can come join in my class thank you very much assalamu alaikum